I'm not going to change the world, but I hope I'm making a difference. Here's all my early dismissal students across the street. With summer coming, Madison Park's principal, Chuck McAfee, knows that some students find warm weather especially distracting. Sir! Sir! What are you doing? It seemed like a good idea, but where do you really belong? All right, let's get there. Being the principal means being consistent, no, no, being loud. fair, and about communication. Not a bad idea, though. You have to have a really good sense of humor to be successful at this. Show you. Watch right here. Okay, he's looking around, walks right up. Look at this. What? He puts the gun right directly on the camera, thinks that nobody's going to see him. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Sometimes it's not always fun. These are young people, and so we do have rules. Let's go! No hats. Basic rule, we like to think that you're in school to learn. That's just one of the rules that we're trying to work with. He took my hat. My hat was on the table, it was not on my head. Why would I walk around and put a hat on my head? Let me go up and see him, you wait here. This student is angry that his hat was confiscated by one of his teachers. A minor incident at some schools, How we doing? at Madison Park, Chuck McAfee knows things can quickly spin out of control. I put my hat on the table. Other teachers didn't have a problem with that. Why did he have a problem with it? Little issues that's going on here that I'm not getting. It, it reflected me. See, I mean, I'm trying to figure this out. There's always two sides of the stories. I mean, I cannot imagine why someone come down to my office about just his hat. If he wasn't wearing his hat, yeah, yeah. why would the teacher take well, my hat? Yeah. I don't know. He, he had his hat. He left his hat in a place it wasn't supposed to be. I took his hat. What's the point? He doesn't really perform at, at any kind of acceptable level. Yeah. Um, he caught a real nasty attitude about it. Why do you want to leave school? Yeah, I know. He can relax and about his hat. Right. and get his head at the end of the school day. <laughs> or you said at lunchtime? Well, see, I'm at lunchtime if I'm a nice guy and you don't treat me bad. When, when you leave here... Did he say anything? Yeah, he called me all kinds of names. He was swearing oh, at me and everything before he was leaving. He called, no, you know me. I, you know, right. But before he left here, I was all kinds of, all right. you know, MFAS type oh, stuff. Oh, I see. All right. How are we doing? Come on. Please. How are we doing? The longer you do this, you get a sixth sense. If I get it right, I'm going to find out the root of the problem. Now, I almost my hat back. All right, here's I, what I, I want to tell you. Now, how old are you? I'm 18. And see, that's the tough part. And when you get 18, you're like grown, and it's hard to deal with you because you're a young adult. I mean, if my hat was small enough to fit in my pocket, I would put it in my pocket. Now, he's just trying to do this to show me that he got power over me, this and that's that. That's what I thought it was. Obviously, you got upset. That's, that's, what I mean. that's what I got. All right. I was trying to figure out what was this about. It's not about the hat. No, you just, you just feel like there. you didn't get that much respect. All right, come on. I want to try to keep you in school. So I got the point. The teacher got the point. You got the point. We have to straighten this out for you, teacher. Put my hat. Hold on. We're not finished. Don't walk away. I'm going home, yo. Come on, man. Don't go home over your hat. Hold on. I just know from experience, sometimes these little things can turn into bigger things if you don't do the right thing. This is your third high school. I'm trying to make sure that this year is somehow successful. Because you're going to get an education. All right, let me bring you over here. Let me go get your hat. Principal McAfee convinces this angry student to sit down with the teacher who took away his hat and try to work it out. Hi, this is Mr. Wilkins. I want these two people to communicate and solve their problem. Anything to say? Yeah, how, how come you only, you only decide to take my hat, call me her, her hat on the table, and then rather than that, you could you could just be like, yo, Will, put the hat in the locker. I don't like that tone. I don't like that tone. Yeah, that's I'm not what you're going to get if you're going to do no, something No, no, like that's that. not the tone I'm going to get because you're not following the rules. If the hat is yo, sitting over, I'm going to say... Come from, where I come from, yo, adult, no adult, yo, if you're going to... If you're gonna, treat somebody like that, how you expect me to talk to you? Okay, Wilkins, here's the deal. Here's the deal. The rule is no hats. If I find out, the rule is no hats. Hey, yo, man, what the f***? 
man, you really begin to piss me off, dog. I you're over here running your mouth, I doing swear. this thing, thinking that's your rules, this and that. Listen, 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 listen to me closely, all right? I don't care about you. I don't give two s about you. All I wanted was my damn hat. You had no right to take my hat off no table. If I put my hat on the table, you have the right to be like, well, I don't want the hat there. Put it in the locker. I don't put it in the damn locker. All right, ask somebody so I can put it in the locker. You don't come up to my face. Let go of me. Let go of me. Yo, don't put your hands on me. William, come on. Yo. What the hell, man? What the hell, man? It's a tough world out there for young people. They feel very vulnerable. When they feel disrespected, we're in a lot of trouble. They do things sometimes that don't make any sense. Sometimes it's so easy. You know, my you're dealing with young people. Didn't have to explode. After his attempt to make peace between teacher and student backfires, Chuck McAfee has to clean up the mess. You got to see his hand. He needs a nurse. See his hand. He's going to have to end up having to pay for this. This way. When things really mess up, it's my fault. The buck stops here. Okay. What happened? I'm trying to talk to him, but he refused to let me talk. And then he got me aggravated because he's talking to me like I'm a, like I'm a first grader. All right, so now I got you're aggravated. So then you turn around, and get mad, and punch the window. Yeah. He's making it seem like I'm stupid. Okay. You need a stitch in it. I don't want to pay for the window. Listen, my mom can't pay for that window. I got five little brothers, and my, my mom work at two jobs, and she can't hardly pay the rent. Then we, wait a minute. Then we'll probably talk about some kind of restitution. We'll find a way. All right? Thank you. Okay. It's very hard to be a teacher, because they deal with everything. But they got the heart to do this. I thought this one was going to be an easy one. What happened? He had a tone that I didn't like, and I mentioned it. And he went left and he went bad and I, I like I feel real bad now I mean I'm like I know let me have this I thought this one would, would have been an easy one I don't know what the conversation was but I know that nobody likes to feel good when kids get angry and put their hands to windows yes, sir. all right so I don't know it's about communication sometimes we hit it sometimes we don't but if they end up doing this then we lose yeah that's all well, no, my mistake. I thought we could work this out. Sometimes it doesn't work. Damn, damn, damn.